automate single storey steel structure design with MKA PEB. The biggest problem of steel structure manufacturers is the quotation. In today's competitive environment, a factory can submit an average of 20 quotations per month in order to get a contract. Sometimes it is necessary to prepare a large number of quotations. Let's try to understand the problem by examining the process. For example, our customers who need a warehouse should contact the steel structure manufacturer and ask for a proposal for a 1,000 square meter building. The marketing department of the factory needs to estimate the cost in order to prepare the quotation. There are two ways of doing this. First of all, the construction area needs to be assessed in order to calculate an approximate cost based on past experiences. The main concern is if the project is contracted and the estimated cost is above, above the initial quotation, the customer needs to be aware of this possibility. The second alternative is to make a static analysis and design in order to reach the accurate cost. However, the building system selection is important. Whilst the pre-engineered building PEB is the cheapest and fastest, it also requires submerged arc welding, robot and experience. Materials for portal frames can be produced easily and quickly, but are more expensive. Steel trusses is an inexpensive solution when the production speed is slow. Regardless of the system, there are many stages for static analysis and design. Analysis of snow, wind, earthquake loads, design of runway beam if there is a crane, static analysis. After the seismic design, the design of the frame elements, the design of the connections and the design of the foundations are completed. The accurate cost can be calculated after the structure is 3D modelled. This analysis and design process takes three days when done in full. The customer cannot wait three days, therefore the quotations continue to be estimated on the basis of the building area. Instead of going to the factory and asking for a proposal, the smart customer works with an engineer and asks for the proposal with the project in hand. Now let's try to understand the engineer's problem. He predetermines the needs of our customer for a single storey building, the system of the building, its dimensions, layout of interlayers, if there is a crane, it has determined its capacity. He performs the static analysis and design process that we explained in the previous section. Whilst doing these operations, he needs lots of software that are calculated over €25,000. When the design is completed, he shares the cost of the building with the customer. At this stage, the client's needs may change. The dimensions of the structure are based on the assumption that there is no crane. And if there is, the capacity may change. If there is no mezzanine, it can be added. However, the end result can be expensive. These changes sometimes require a redesign of structure. Thus, all the work done to present day has been in vain. He will need to work for an extra three more days by lengthening the process, the lower concentration of the engineer and ultimately the investor loses trust in the engineer. Option two is the customer happy with the end result. From this stage onwards, the project can be co completed with the preparation of account reports, which will take at least two days. Option three. The customer is unhappy with the end result and withdraws from the investment and he looks for another engineer who offers a cheaper alternative at a more cost effective rate. Let's try to summarize the problems. Analysis and designs take a lot of time and a lot of software is required. The factory prepares a project with alternatives whilst preparing a quotation. If the engineer re reacts quickly when the needs change on the project, he wouldn't lose out on the job, but neither of them have enough time. Increasing the number of employers can shorten them to the time frame, but finding the right people with the correct skill set is by no means an easy task. Let's take a look at the reasons why there can be time constraints. Number one, 
Load analysis. Calculation of snow loads in snow accumulation areas. Calculation of wind loads acting on the structure from many directions. The effects of these loads on the rod elements and joint points. 2. 3D modelling in accordance with the joint calculations of the building and obtaining 2D technical drawings from this model. 3. All design codes require detailed and traceable account reports. The software that will solve these problems is called MKAPEB. It is a software that provides fast, standards compliant, easy to use, economical solutions. Understandable and traceable, reassuring with its reports, it is the result of 17 years of experience. MKAPEB has been specially developed for projecting single storey steel structures. One, there are many types of template structures within this software. 21 steel truss, 18 portal frames, there are 12 different types of PEB. 2. Automatic uploading is the most unique part of our software. It automatically calculates and places snow, wind, earthquake, crane, moving and thermal loads which take the engineer the longest time to complete and those calculation methods changes according to the standards. 3. Static analysis. The design of steel and reinforced concrete structural members complies with seismic design rules as well as steel structure design rules. It can also design steel structure combinations for, and individual foundations and most importantly it prepares calculation reports in a detailed and traceable way. 4. 3D modelling. It has highly advanced 3D modelling capability. It creates the 3D model without the user intervention by looking at the joint properties. 2D technical drawings and DSTV NC files used by the CNC machines can be obtained from this model. It can also export to Tecla with the macros of the building model. Thus, manufacturers are prevented from wasting time by remodelling in Tecla. 5. Cost analysis. How economical the calculation is measured by the steel used per square metre or the unit cost per square metre. MKAPEB can calculate the cost of welding and protective paint as well as all the required materials list. Quotations can be made by entering all other cost items that the factory requires. Portal frames with reinforced concrete columns, steel truss at systems, pre-engineered buildings, portal frames narrowing in plan, combining these systems with each other, missing structures in the plan, intermediate systems, overhead crane systems, structures with different capacity overhead cranes in different halls can be modelled with parametric data entry. Recognising the building structure and understanding the regional snow loads within the areas where the snow accumulates on the roof dependent on the load standards selected by the user. It automatically loads varying loads according to the regions where the roof purlins are located. When, the, when an engineer makes a change in the dimensions and shape of the structure, the most time-consuming load analysis is done in less than one second. Wind loads are the most complex of loads acting on the structure. The value of the load on the roof and facades varies regionally. MKAPEB is familiar with the structure and knows the Eurocode ASCE07 IS875 standards. Automatically performs this complex calculation when the structure properties change. The calculation which has been made by this software automatically transferred to the roof and facade purlins and the main carrier system. For overhead crane loads, the overhead crane runway beam should be designed first. MKAPEB calculates this according to the rules given in IASC Design Guide 7 and EN19913 and automatically assigns loads to the columns. Elements on roofs and facades, especially central braces, buckle under compression loads due to their slenderness. MKAPEB can identify which elements will buckle under which load and analyses the system so that it is only supported by the tension-only members. 
Whilst making this analysis, it takes into account the thermal effects of summer winter temperature differences and the wind and earthquake loads coming from the facade. After solving each one separately, it superposes and controls the element strengths according to the last situation. By doing this, MKAPEB was able to use tension only rods in the braces. After static analysis, displacements, internal forces, reaction forces, control are made according to the selected steel structure design and earthquake regulations. It is shown on the static model and in the summary table. MKAPEB steel truss automatically performs joint calculations for many joints on roofs and facades. It resizes the connection plates according to the welding length calculated in the steel shears. Thus, the processing time is shortened and the possibility of error is eliminated. While making the connection calculations, if the selected steel structure design regulation AISC 360 is based on regulation AISC 16016 and design guides published by AISC. If Eurocode 3 is selected, the strength of the connection is checked based on Eurocode 318. The design of the other combinations can be done after static calculations are made from the combination design page. The properties of the combination can be changed parametrically. The distances of the bolts to the edges and the limits of the welds are checked. While calculating the strength of the connection, the changes can be followed on the 3D model. On this page, 2D technical drawings of the connection can also be taken. In our single-storey warehouse hangar type structure, the columns are under the effect of one-way bending especially when calculating foundations in structures with overhead cranes or under the influence of high wind force. Soil capacity, it is thought that geotechnical controls should be done in addition to the reinforcement calculation. The general bearing capacity formula recommended by Hansen Weissek in Eurocode 7 is used. Our aim with MKPEB is to make all the elements of the steel structure from the roof to the timeline resistant to disaster situations. Today, many structure analysis software gives its calculations within tables and they show the accuracy of their calculations with verif verification solutions. This view was not adopted in MKAPEB. For this reason, the load calculations are given with detailed calculation reports for the design of steel structure elements and connections. The engineer can follow the reference formulas and process steps of the calculations. This increases the ability in the software. We came to the first question asked by the engineer or the investor who prepared the proposal to make the analysis. What is the cost of this structure we calculated? MKPBE can extract all of the material lists used in the building. The user can change the unit price of the materials. Amended new unit prices are saved for future projects. Prices can be updated automatically according to the daily change in exchange rates. The ratio of scrap quantities for the offer can be changed from the table. On the table, the total used still, square meter used still, square meter unit cost, total costs can be examined. Software used in steel structure projecting today. Structure analysis, combination design, we can group them as 3D modeling software. MKPEB is the combination of these for single story warehouse hangar type structures. It analyzes, performs joint design calculations and can draw this calculated analysis model in 3D. Today, CNC machines are widely used in the manufacture of steel structures. The biggest feature of 3D modeling software such as Advanced Tecla, Advanced Steel, BOCAD, SDS2 is that it can produce DSTVNC files. This issue was primarily targeted when MKAPEB was started to be developed. I would like to show you some technical drawings from MKAPEB. Our first drawing is a pad foundation layout. 2D drawings are obtained from the 3D model. Necessary explanations and dimensions are prepared automatically. 
These drawings are in DWG format and can be edited if desired by the user. Column Application Plan and Anchor Detail Roof Plan and Front Shield View Side View Assembly Part Drawing of Column Plates Group by Thickness And the last feature we will show in this presentation is exporting to Tecla. Steel structure manufacturers, the settings they make for the drawing, the habit of the fit-up team to Tecla drawings, DSTVNC used by CNC machines for reasons such as the need to change some detail before manufacturing, they were modeling the project prepared with MKA PEB in Tecla from the beginning. In this case, it can be a waste of time changing the bolt type and placement in the calculations while modeling problems were encountered, such as entering the weld thickness incorrectly. In order to eliminate this problem, we started to develop the model and that transfers the information in the MKE PEB model to Tecla with macros. Although it is planned to be completed in the coming months, we wanted to show the stage we have reached. Thank you for listening and should you require any further information, please refer to MKA PEB's website at www.mkapeb.com. Alternatively, you can also reach out to our global partner Ramcads at www.ramcads.in.